Lana Sunny 79 today. We are live this morning on Mountain Home Air Force Base. We are in the Gunfighters Fitness Center this morning, and we are lucky enough to be joined this morning. Make sure I got your title right here. Chief Master Sergeant. Can I have that right there? Yes. Sir. Okay. Chief Master Sergeant Ernie Lehman is with us. And uh, first of all, he's a handsome man with a great haircut. Yes. I have, I have to say that. Um, do you guys get the, the choice of how, if you want to go the full on bald? I mean, you know, yes, we can do that now. It used to, uh, it used to be forbidden about 10 or 12 years ago. You couldn't do that. But uh, over the years, as it became more and more uh, mainstream. Um, the Air Force adopted it. It's, you know, they authorized it. it. Used to be considered a faddish haircut. Oh, really? Yes. Bald is a fad. Interesting. I feel kind of cool. So trendy. Oh, trendy. Because I'm bald. I consider it choice. Okay. <laughs> it looks good. Uh, the Chief Master Sergeant. We uh, we're lucky to have him today because, from what I understand, you're retiring in six days. Yes, sir. Twenty-eight years of service. Well, thank you for that. Thank you. Sir. What uh, what originally brought you into the Air Force? What 28 years ago? What made you think? Hey, you know what I want to do? I want to put on a uniform. Um, well, I was in college, and uh, believe it or not, one of the big reasons um, I was going to have to take a college out. <laughs> yeah, that, that pretty much scared me to death. Uh, I got a D minus, D minus in high school in algebra, and I figured that probably didn't go too well. For, uh, for college. So it's algebra or the military? You yeah. chose the military. Well, yeah, you know, and I also, uh, I'm, I'm originally from Michigan and I wanted to get away from Michigan winters. Oh, sure. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and Uncle Sam took really good care of me. He sent me a Minot, North Dakota. No, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so how has the military changed? How has the Air Force changed from 28 years ago to today? We're a lot smaller. Much, much smaller. Um, I remember when I came in, uh, you would go into an office, like uh, say for instance one of the personnel offices, and there would be you know, a master sergeant, a couple of tech sergeants, and a staff sergeant with three airmen. You go into that same similar office nowadays, and there'll be two airmen, and they're running the show. Is that an efficiency issue, or is that how we've seen uh, budgets and economy change? I think it's, it's more of a budget. I mean, we went from... I want to say when I came in, there was something like 600,000 people in the Air Force, and we've dropped down to like a third of that. But, uh, After 28 years in the Air Force, you probably, other than just North Dakota, you've probably seen some other areas. Where, where, where all of you uh, have you been? Um, years? I've been to Japan, uh, Germany, Alaska. I did a two-year stint in Jordan. Um, been to Saudi Arabia, Kuwait. I actually got to do a, a two-week TUI to uh, Kenya, uh, Nairobi. Um, I think the other day I figured it out. I've either went through or stopped or, you know, spent the night in, uh, I want to say, 30-some countries over wow. the years. That's so much better than Alex. Way better than Alex. <laughs> so what are you going to do now in the retirement? Well, I'm going to stick around here for a couple of months. Uh, I really enjoy the outdoors. I'm looking forward to the hunting season. And then uh, I'm actually going to be joining my wife. She is a civil service employee in England. Is she really? Uh, yeah. How, how long has it been since you guys have been, you know, across the pond from each other? I mean, she... uh, uh, about six years. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. How often have you seen her in those six years? Um, about every six months or so, we, we get the opportunity to uh, to uh, reconnect, if you will. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's just a matter of assignments have taken us different places. And, you know. Yesterday, I was uh, talking to my best friend on the phone, and I said, "Ah, yeah, we're going down the mountain to the Air Force Base again." And she's like, "Great, I'm gonna cry again." And yeah. I said, "Why are you gonna cry?" And she goes, "Because." Of hearing the families being separated, just like yeah. you, and my heart just like sunk when you said six years you guys have been apart. <sighs> How long have you guys been married? Uh, let's see. I know it right off the top of my head, exactly. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, honey. Uh, we got married in 1986. She obviously knew what she was signing on for when she married somebody. Well, she was actually in the military she was when we got married. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you make that work? Being separated that long of a distance and only seeing each other every six months for six years, how do you make that work? Well, the biggest thing is you have to trust each other. You know, I mean, I know that 
she's not doing anything that wouldn't, you know, be acceptable for lack of a better term. And she knows the same thing about me. Um, you know, we just, I, I don't know the secret, we just make it work. We just make it work. And but then when you guys see each other in that. Chief Master Sergeant Brendan Layman retiring in just six days after 28 years of service. Thank you, sir, so much. And uh, tell your wife thank you, also. Oh, will do.